Hey everybody, it's Stacy Duffy here, your Denver Metro Real Estate Resource. I'm just going to start this driving because y'all don't need to stare at me while I talk because you want to see me drive around. So, I'm actually on Pikes Peak Road. I'm just south on the south end of downtown Parker Strip. So, you can see we actually have some really cute new Victorian type mixed use buildings. And all of these were built within the last, I think, five or six years. Um... And so we've got some row homes and then we've got the little Victorian shops that I just passed and we've got the seating area and some extra parking over the Sulphur Gulch. Um, and then this is going to pop out to a little bit more franchise stuff and then I'm going to circle back around past the Turtle Creek area, um, which is a neighborhood really close to downtown Parker and then I'll go back through Main Street. So you can actually kind of see what's around here. Um, and maybe I lied. Maybe I'm going to go out to Parker Road. Yeah, I'll come in from Parker Road. Never mind, I lied. So, we've got Goodwill and Best Buy and Jack in the Box and some of your franchise stuff here just south of downtown Parker. And then here I'm going to come out on Parker Road and we have gorgeous mountain views today. It is beautiful and clear and nice and brisk. Uh, let's see, 60 degrees. It is 9.30 in the morning on a Monday. I just had a closing here in downtown Parker at the Parker Flats. So, at First American Title. And um, so I figured, you know what? I'm in the area. There's not a ton of traffic, which is pretty unusual for the downtown Parker area because sometimes it gets pretty busy. When I say downtown Parker area, it's really a few couple of streets. But it's really, really cute. So I wanted to show it to you all. So... Um, we've got uh, a little bit older strip mall shopping center here on the right with the Wells Fargo and Dollar Tree and there are some really good shops in there. Personally, the locksmith that I use is in there. Um, they also reprogram auto keys. I know it's kind of random, but um, so um, here turning in, I'm turning east onto Main Street. Sorry for the bus view. I was hoping we wouldn't have that, guys. Um, but over on the right is the shopping center, Baskin Robbins, Nails Place, uh, Nails Place. We've got the Italian Place. On the left, we've got O'Brien Park. So I'm actually going to do a quick circle. Actually, I want to, but I don't want to follow this bus. Oh my gosh. Okay. Thank you, bus drivers, for everything that you do. It's just not the best view for my video. Um, I want to show you O'Brien Park because a lot of people really like Parker because it's very, very family friendly, um, suburb, a little bit more conservative type vibe. So at least for Colorado comparatively. So a lot of my clients moving from, you know, Texas or from Houston, or actually the clients that I just closed this morning were from LA, but they really like a little bit more remote feel. So this gives you a cute view of O'Brien Park. We've got a really, really nice Victorian gazebo, tons of green space. These trees are really nice and shaded in the summertime, huge playground area. Um, and then we've also got basketball court and some fields here. And then there's a little water park back in here as well. So this area in the summertime for people with kids, there's always people here. Um, and then I'm going to go back out the entrance over here so I don't come in the wrong side of the parking lot. And, um, and then at Christmas time, this is also really, really nice. They light up t a ton of these trees. It's really, really pretty. Lots of fall festival type stuff. Um, it's just a really, really nice kind of central landing spot for a lot of the people here in Parker. And then this gives you a little bit more of a backside view of the downtown strip too on the main street. So we've got, uh, Kilwins for the ice cream and chocolate. We've got Blockhouse Tavern. We've got the Parker Garage, which has been rebranded a couple of times. Um, and then also, or Parker Garage has been the same, but then the tailgate has been rebranded as the other one over here. So Tavern and Grill, um... So pretty much just your typical, hey, cutesy Main Street. We've got some boutiques. We've got some salons. We've got Fika Coffee House, which is kind of a go-to place here in this part of town. It's where a lot of people do business. It's very um, Swedish and quaint and cute. And then we've got title companies. Um, we've got the Las Delicias Mexican restaurant back in there. Um, music shop. And then this is Pikes Peak. So this is actually where I started. If you turn right here, you'll see the little Victorian mixed use and row homes that I started with um, when I started the tour. And then going down, we've got an uh, Indian Spice Kitchen. Um, and everybody's got their Halloween stuff out. We've got some bucket trucks doing stuff other uh, too. So we've got our frozen yogurt place, Indochine. Um, 
Dough Dreamery. So it's really your go-to, hey, ice cream shop evenings. There's some professional offices in here as well. And this is actually the area that they close off for the farmer's market in the summertime. So um, every weekend in the summer, non-COVID times, I'll say that. Um, every weekend in the summer, they'll have a farmer's market on Sundays and they'll close a lot of the downtown street and you can just walk it. And I'll tell you, that is my go-to for tamales. Sorry, radar detector, guys. Um, that's my go-to for the tamales because the tamale guy there is awesome and I just buy and buy a giant pack and I put them in the freezer and they're really, really good. Um, also the honey jam. I'm a big, big fan of the honey jam. I was running into the issue where um, they have the Southlands Farmer's Market on Saturdays and then Parker is on Sundays and they wouldn't have the raspberry because they were always sold out. But anyway, really cute farmer's market. Great place to take the family and walk around and go do stuff. What I'm pulling into now is the Parker Library. So I will pull into that. And that's part of the Douglas County Library System. Um, and then they have the Discovery Park. But this is a really, really cool open area. And they've made some changes here um, relatively recently. I think when they opened it, they first had a skating rink. I don't think that, I don't know if they have that open anymore. I haven't been down here in a while since with COVID, the libraries have been closed. So, um... But for non-COVID times, when things are back open up, they do have great story times, great activities for those people that have kids and are looking for something to do during the day. Really, really nice library that's actually relatively new. I think this is only a couple years old. And then um, the Pace Center as well, they've made some changes too. So he's doing some towing work. I'm going to go around this way. And then I will come back down the other side of Main Street just to give you a westbound view so you can kind of get another look. And as far as the neighborhoods around downtown Parker, um, we do have some attached townhomes over here just on the north side. It's kind of a mix. So if you go just east of here, east and a little bit north, you've got Ponderosa Hills and Homestead Farms and a lot of your acreage properties that people really, really like Parker for. Um, a little bit more remote. Some of those in Ponderosa Hills are going to be a little bit more tree-lined. Um, so you might not have the views, but it's going to feel kind of mountain-esque a little bit as far as being in the trees. But then some of the other ones are a little bit further east when you go down to um, Homestead Farms and closer, if you were to go further southeast towards Kiowa and everything, then you're a little bit more in the plains area. So it's not as treed and everything. But then there's also um, typical single family subdivision neighborhoods. There's condos, there's apartments. Um, there's lots of different stuff. And then I mentioned these new Victorian mixed use ones. So, and more central Parker. So on the west side of Parker Road is going to have a lot more of your typical suburban single family homes built 80s to 90s to 2000s. Um, there are some newer developments in Meridian and Stonegate. And if you want to go further down, there's, um, I think it's Crow, Crow's Foot. I got to go check the names on it. Sorry, guys. I'm going off the top of my head on a Monday morning and it's been rough. So, but you can see just really cute little downtown strip area. Um, not massive, but enough to get the vibe, have somewhere to go, something to do on the weekends. O'Brien Park's great for the kids. It's very, very central and family friendly. And you do, other than the downtown area, you have some individual restaurants and then a lot of franchise restaurants. So anyway, hopefully that gives you a, a little bit more of a feel for the downtown Parker area. I'll do more Parker videos as um, I'm in the areas and I'll try to hit more of the neighborhoods and start putting those up for y'all. The house I just closed was down in the Pinery. So when I'm there next week checking on my clients, I'll do a Pinery driving tour for y'all. Um, really really nice probably about eh, 12 minutes or so 12 to 15 minutes um south of this downtown area where i'm at now so if you're looking to buy or sell in the denver metro area please feel free to reach out to me i'd be happy to help i am in parker all the time i live pretty close to parker just north of that in uh, foxfield um so this is part of my stopping grounds guys i'm down here i know the area i love the area i have lots of clients here i do a lot of business here so Anyway, hopefully that gives you a better idea, and if there are more neighborhoods or more areas of town that you'd like me to do a driving tour on as I'm in those areas, just shoot them, um, put them down in the comments, or if you're liking this and this was helpful for you, just hit the like button, I'd really appreciate it. But thanks so much for the time, and y'all have a great day.